everyone, we're here in front of the music room at the WA Stark House. This is an incredible space. It's beautiful and one of Merriam's favorites. And this space not only looks great, it sounds great. In this video, we'll be highlighting some of our favorite objects, themes, and of course, lovely music from our Steinway piano. Before television, families often played music together and with friends. Recorded music was a relatively new technology. Most music families enjoyed was still played live. The Stark family was musical. Miriam played the piano, and W.H. and their son, Lutcher Stark, played the violin. Although, country boy that he was, W.H. insisted it was called the fiddle. The highlight of this room is a large ceiling painting composed of five separate pieces of canvas on wood commissioned by the family from artist E. Theo Baer, whom they met when attending the Columbian Exposition in Chicago in 1893. The painting features an early 20th century woman surrounded by classic Renaissance and Victorian figures such as the Three Graces, Cherubs, and the Goddess with Child. These same figures are carried throughout the room, seen in statues, painted on vases, and carved into wood. This creates an elegant and courtly environment, possibly the most formal in the house. But of course, the real heart of any music room is the instruments. This gorgeous Steinway grand piano is one of the real crown jewels in the W.H. Stark House's collection and is royalty in more ways than one. Steinway & Sons has been one of the most dominant companies in the music industry for over 150 years. Steinway was founded in New York in 1853 by a German immigrant. By the late 1800s, it had become one of the most innovative and successful music companies in the world. In many ways, the company created the modern piano that we know today. It remains one of the kings of the piano world. So much so, as some argue, its dominance has actually stifled the variety and further development of the piano. Our piano is an incredible example from the heyday of Steinway's royal patronage period. Its elegantly carved legs and mahogany shell were designed for only the finest parlors of the Edwardian era. By the time this piano was made, Steinway was the official court piano maker for almost all the major monarchies of Europe. Under the strings, the royal seals of Germany, Russia, Turkey, Great Britain, and Austria, just to name a few. This period of imperial and royal opulence was soon to end. Just four years after our piano was made, most of these royal patrons were at war with each other. And just 10 years after it was made, most of these monarchies didn't even exist. The age of imperial Europe was truly over. From Miriam's very own collection, please enjoy the selection of March by Cornelius Gurlitt, performed by our registrar, Catherine Berry. <laughs> 